Okay, here we are. Just want to do a quick video of this camper here. It's a very unique camper. It's four-wheel drive and it comes with diesel engine. It's a 97 Scotty Highlander made by the Cerro Scotty Travel Trailer Company. It's the very last year they made it because the factory burned down in 97. Technically, the uh, vehicle itself is a 96 Dodge Ram 3500. But like I said, the camper is a 97. Uh, it's got the 5.9 liter comes diesel engine in it. And I got it running right now. And you can see all the lights work and everything. So I'll open the hoop real quick and then uh, let's shut it off so you can hear better on the rest of the video. Okay, so this here driver's side. Um, it definitely needs a new passenger seat. The previous owner had a dock and it really chewed up the seat. It had a seat cover on it originally, but I took it off so you can take, have a better look at the, the damage on that seat. Um, for the rest here, looks all right. It's an older truck, it's 21 years old, so. Could use a little cleaning for sure, but overall, it's a pretty cool camper. And to have a Cummins diesel and four wheel drive is pretty unique. Uh, I've only made a few hundred of these, um, and even fewer that were actually four wheel drive and had a diesel. This one is 25 feet long, bumper to bumper. a quick look around here and then uh, take a look inside. So it does have a little damage on the back here. Um, as you can see this compartment right here and then the bumper. This is, this is just fiberglass. The metal actually is all still intact. Nothing got damaged on the, on the actual frame or anything. But fiberglass is hard to replace so I haven't figured out how to fix that yet. I'm just gonna get rid of it uh, the way it is but wanted to just close that. Um, also some of the windows are getting a little older you can see here that the rubber is starting to come off so it needs a little TLC but then again you're getting a very unique camper here that's very few of these are made. The only thing that can even come close to this uh, is one of the earth roamers and they they sell for well over $100,000 even for, for a used one. So it would be pretty hard to find a, a four-wheel drive diesel camper like this. And I really like that it. it's pretty short. It makes it easy to uh, park it and get into places that you can with a bigger camper. So here we are on the inside, the top here over the cap sleeps uh, two if you want to and you got the dinette over here uh, you can put that table down and fold those benches and you can sleep another two over there if you want to still has got the original TV up here uh, I've never used it actually but I think it works um, got some storage compartments there got some storage over here and uh, original radio and cassette player there fire your alarm this is the door. I left it open so it's a little more light in here. You can see better. Got a little chair here. Uh, that one swings around actually. This right here. This part goes up if you want to. So you have more easy access to the cap. And you can just walk in and out of there. If you want to. Um, so here's the kitchen area. Got a little... Match with three burner stove, it works good. The only issue is it's missing a little knob right there, but you can get those in an RV store for pretty cheap. It's got the microwave on top here. Looks like it's never even been used because it's got the original sticker on it still. Looks pretty clean. Um, this right here, I'm not sure you can see it. It's trying to focus here and just using my phone. Um, I can get this to focus here. Okay, so this is the generator 
it only has 11.3 hours on an original um, the issue is the generator is that the uh, exhaust pipe broke off so you can't actually use it right now and I'm sure that needs to tune up before you can use it but uh, uh, yeah really low hours on it though if you get it tuned up and get it running again um, I didn't need a generator so I've never used it um, you got a two person sleeping area in the back here you can see on the mattress I would recommend replacing it um, it's got a hole in there as well from the from the dog um, so you got some storage compartments in here up over there um, it's got skylights there's one here one in the front and one uh, back in the bathroom we'll look at that in a second so this here is the kitchen or uh, the fridge I mean and then in the kitchen area here and then this here is the bathroom um, it's got a little shower I've winterized everything already so it doesn't have water in it anymore in case you want to store it and there's a toilet little sink or medicine cabinet there and uh, yeah that's about it sorry for the bad video quality but uh, hopefully this will give you an idea of the camper um, definitely needs a little TLC some cleaning uh, also on the couch here you can see right in the corner there and a few chunks bitten out of it um, it's been a long time since there was a dog in it so it doesn't smell bad or anything but it does need a little bit of work uh, yeah that's it if you're interested let me know